I'm gonna go back to the base because I just realized that I have like I have like 30 fucking buried things. Mm hmm. I am. Did you. I am uh, ready. You reached out to like. Right? Did they get back to you? I reached out to a few different channels that I try not to name because uh, then it becomes like about. Now there becomes like a weird public thing about how they didn't like talk to me or whatever. Uh, but okay, uh, I go to and from. Because, mm -hmm. uh. And some, some of them are larger YouTubers, some of them are smaller YouTubers. A lot of them are just people I already know about. And in a few cases, uh, I, mean, I reached out to do? people that are people that I like. Like, people that I know my audience likes. And I'm like, oh, it'd be uh -huh. fun to have, like, a surprise crossover with these people that, like, like I know that we have, like, a shared audience. It's really hard. People who do yeah. this kind of thing are super antisocial by nature and already. And also, they're used to ignoring and saying no to everybody who asks them to do stuff with them because they get inundated with that stuff anyway. And so, uh -huh. the, the idea that you can in any way stand out as being anything other than just another one of those people contacting them all the time is really hard to do. Well, no, and, no, here's the trick, here's the trick. You, uh, you send them uh, a DM and then you tweet at them saying, sup, check, uh, check your DMs. And then you are guaranteed to get a response. As are you though? Especially, <laughs> especially if you're a cringe tuber or a oh, uh, or a drama drama channel, totally go for that. Oh no! I mean, that's basically a video right there. Well, I, I think I've, I think I told you before that like one of the weirdest things about this is that like it's like a weird thing where like 100% of your potential like coworkers or peers are people that you essentially have a one-sided parasocial relationship with in one direction or the other. Uh -huh. Like, it's either people contacting you that know you through your stuff and you have no fucking clue who they are, or it's the other way around. We're like, oh, I've been a fan of this guy for seven years, and hey, my subscriber count's kind of similar now. Maybe we could, like, maybe we could actually, like, talk or something. <laughs> and it's like, but, but you're instantly the, the weird creep contacting them and vice versa, and it's like, it's so... It's such a weird, impossible thing for, for, for the brain to navigate that no one is designed to do. Mm hmm Yeah, for whatever it's worth, I am um, significantly, like, happier with, like, my online life since I've, like, pared down the amount of collaborations that I do dramatically. It's like, oh, this is so much simpler. <laughs> It's like, I can just, I can just record what I want to when I want to, if I can take a night off if I feel like it, and I don't have to care. I could put this away and compartmentalize it completely. It's so nice. So yeah, I guess what I'm saying is that uh, anybody reaches out to me asking for a collab? No. <laughs> Anyone reaches out to me to ask, like, hey, can you give a shout out? Yeah. It's still like a close kept secret what your name even is on the internet. Yeah, it's lovely. It's so strange to think about that nobody knows your name is Dusseldorf the <laughs> third. Yeah, well I didn't I didn't go balls to the wall and just uh name my channel um well actually so your channel isn't named, um, what was I going to say? What the fuck am I? What? <laughs> well, okay, Brie. okay? Sorry, I looked over, I looked over my chat and somebody <laughs> named Kate Keefef joined and I couldn't tell if that was you, like, joining my chat, like, incognito. I was like, wait, who the fuck is this? this wait, is that Keith? No, no, no. Anyway, as I was saying, like, I didn't go balls to the wall and, like, name my channel, like, not really my name. But also, like, doesn't your, doesn't your, uh, like, banner art, like, say your first and last name in it, too? Or is no, it my, my, my banner is my username, which is also my URL, which is what I registered right. the account as. And then right. Google Plus Interact integ integration just decided to, like, just say every YouTuber's real name, basically. Oh, yeah. And just replace their username with their real name. And then I just left it. I'm just like, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess fair. my channel's named after me now. Yeah, most people don't know my name. It's, uh, it's nice. It's, um, not, it's not Dusseldorf. 
uh, mahogany or whatever the hell you just said. D Dusseldorf mahogany. <laughs> <laughs> Dusseldorf mahogany sounds like a really, really bad porn star I've name. I've done it. I've researched every tech that you can have. Not all of them. I can't build like every wall shape, but I can build every like structure that they let you build here. Construction research unit. Or is one of those. Uh... Okay, that was buildable technology. That's probably not what I meant to get. I meant to probably research the other thing, which is structures. I can research a bunch of walls and shit. So what do I want to build? What, what what speaks out to me is like <laughs> yes, this is this is truly. What feels like it truly be me? Search for. Berry technology, base components, that's what it wants. Yes! Biofuel reactor, no. that's what you already have. I don't have the carbon, uh, fuck. Electrical wiring, that's free, as you've been saying. That's really weird. Have you made solar uh, solar panels or batteries yet? Uh, I ha I've researched so everything, but I haven't made them yet. I, oh, okay. think th I think there's a battery in the room over there, but I don't think we have any solar panels. Uh, I just researched it, but they'll require materials I need to get now. Okay, I'm gonna research the solar panel just so that I can also build them. Um, and, like, I'll start helping put this together, because it seems like a good a good goal. I It was actually worth my time to run around for, like, an hour and just collect a bunch of um, things, because now I can actually make shit. We did I it. Can, because uh, I needed eight pieces of salvaged data to uh, to get solar panels. That's ridiculous. Wish we name our base. Uh, I thought it was already named something. Uh, our objective is to name the base. So I, I think I think it's not going to do anything else until we do that. It didn't let me, Keith. It was not let it, it by me. All right, well, we have a name. Yes. There we go. What? What's the name? Does Tell me the name. Does it say anywhere? I don't know. What, where, where would I look? Uh, Sebastian SB's base is what I see. Does it really say that? Yeah. I named it Mahogany Dusseldorf. It's that you, you flipped it around. It's supposed to be Dusseldorf Mahogany. Too bad. Too bad. Okay. Okay. We've done it now. Okay. I th you might only be able to see the name at the uh, at, at the, the terminal, the which is outside the one you mined the floor out from underneath. Uh huh. Because that's like the original one. Uh huh. I think the one I think the one you that's in the far left corner over here actually just doesn't work. You know what might this, work? This wanna... goifty outpost thing. You know what? You know what might work pretty out. Where do we have a storage structure anywhere? By the way, like a chest. Yeah, I would love to have a chest. I think basically the closest thing we get is our own ship. Uh, fuck. Yeah. All right. Yeah, up. That's about right. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Anyway, what was he gonna say? <laughs> Stop it. You like this voice? <laughs> It's not the 90s. Don't talk like that. <laughs> Do you like it when I talk like this? Uh, you like it when I talk like this? <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> Dude. All right, what was I going to say? Okay, you want to become a big... You want to really... Okay, what if you really want to, like... Where do I fucking store stuff in the spaceship? I just climbed into it, but that doesn't seem right. When you're in your inventory, the top tabs for exosuit and space and starship. Oh. Right, how you switch through everything. I can only modify it. All those open slots. Into it? Uh, if you if you go to any item in your inventory and hit X on it, it'll you can oh. quick transfer it to your ship. That's good to know. But you have to be within a certain range of your ship, which is why I tried to park really close to the base so I can actually okay. switch stuff back and forth. Okay. This Otherwise, it will be sense. infuriating. It it certainly is. The ship inventory also just fills up, like, instantly, though. Yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um... 
if you really want to like quickly uh become um like if you if you want to really stand out um when trying to like dm other youtubers and get them to collaborate what i suggest you do is you uh pick like female youtubers and send them really really creepy messages and at the end follow it up with just kidding haha <laughs> not like that do you want to collaborate sometime <laughs> that'll have a nice zero percent success rate <laughs> as everyone runs the fuck away <laughs> I'm gonna get some water, I'll be right back. I'm gonna be oh, ironically shit. creepy, that sounds like a good idea. Cause people will totally get that it's ironic, lol, JK, ha 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 ha. If I, it's, a, it's a social experiment. Lol, so awkward. Yeah. Aren't I lovably awkward and definitely not just like, off-putting? <laughs> yeah, it's an, basically... Weirdly, being on YouTube is like a self-imposed, loneliest possible job, because if you want to talk about parasocial relationships, you essentially have a weird one-sided parasocial relationship with every possible person you could meet that does what you do. And that's like, not a healthy situation for trying to meet people in, as it turns out. That's stressful. It makes every single attempt to like, yo, wanna make videos? Like, just like a stressful experience. Trying to get into Keith for corp. Trying to get a Just trying to get a recording session started. I'm just fucking. There's so much noise. So much background noise. Squeaky chair shit. Motherfuck. You're not supposed to swear in the first five minutes. This video is getting demonetized. <laughs> I may actually, I've been debating actually setting up um, a script uh, to self-censor you with whenever you swear at the wrong part of a video. Yeah. Huh. That just uh, it all will do is it'll take. No, here's how you can do it. Right, you could buy like a uh, transcription, not buy, but you can just like download like a, a script that will produce automatic like transcriptions of your of like what you're saying, like an automatic like like closed captioning type thing you know what i'm saying sure uh, and then analyze that it, you know like it just it, it um a speech to text like the other way around you know it analyzes what you're saying and then like breaks it down into the words that you're saying god what the fuck is that called text okay let me look this up Di like Auto like dictation or whatever and uh Auto transcribe. Auto, auto transcribe. Thank you. Uh, yeah, download like an auto transcribe like plugin or something like that for Adobe Premiere, and then like get it to also do timestamps, and then like just automatically like dub in like a like a dolphin clackling noise or some shit. Oh, the worst oh, one. Yeah, no, you gotta you gotta do the cringe tuber thing, right? So it's gotta be like. It's got to be either like a like a ha -ha, or like a like a eh -eh -eh, or like a like a blum -blum, and then like just flash like the yellow monetization dollar sign thing in the middle of the screen. Just pick a random location on the footage and just like put it there. <laughs> just plaster it somewhere. And then and then you can you can you can not be demonetized anymore. Wow. And it'll only be very annoying. Yeah. What's your favorite? Uh, One of the worst things about voice. voice censorship is the fact that like voice dynam like dynamics are all over the place in volume and I stuff know. like that. But so like, but the fucking stock sound loud. or whatever people use to censor it is is a set volume every time. So like, uh -huh. it'll often be completely out of whack with the volume of whatever's around it. Yep. Nah. Yep. I definitely hear you. Like, um, just one channel I'm super getting into lately called, uh, Sea Dog VA. So fun. Um, and, like, some of his videos, uh, he does do a lot of, like, censoring things. And, like, 
he's a voice actor, right? So he has a huge dynamic range with his voice. Sometimes he's like really quiet, sometimes he's really loud. That's actually something I very much struggle with myself. But um, he has, as a result, like his audio is almost always like really, really hard to get consistent. Um, and so like sometimes he'll be like, like, all right, we go talk about anime, my fucking weebs. But the like fucking will be like, I don't know. It'll be like, all right, we're talking about anime, my her her weebs. And it's like, God damn it, I'm just trying to watch the video. I'm totally just thinking like, if you don't want to, if you don't want swearing in your videos. Stop just, swearing. Just don't swear, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Like well, it's so much easier what? than trying but to is, manually change them. I'm, I'm going to collaborate with people who will swear and then yeah. it's like, well. <sighs> Let's not open that can of worms. <laughs> but anyway, um, what was he gonna say? I've really been getting into uh, professionals reacting videos. It's so fun. I love uh, Legal Eagle. I've talked about that quite a bit. Uh, sea Dog is really fun because occasionally he's like, he like does videos on like, let's analyze like bad voice acting in anime, or like let's analyze really good voice acting in anime and like break down like some interesting tidbits about it. Or, uh, um, God, what did I do? Uh, not what did I do? What did I see recently that I thought was really fun? A, uh, a animator, um, no, a comic book artist, like, looked at a bunch of, like, Marvel comics and, like, broke those down as well. It was a lot of fun. Absolutely none of these deposits are ever gold. Yeah, I've been looking for gold, I, too. I need I gold for solar panels, and there's nothing. You know what I think? It's all it's silver, planet, uranium, and copper. This planet probably just doesn't have gold on it. I bet they're... Well, those I found gold before. Oh, where? Well, cause I, I, that's where I got the gold to make the one solar panel we have so far. Right. Where'd you find it? I don't I don't know. It's gone now. Because I used well, it. It's. It, why don't, I picked it all up, and now it's not on the ground anymore. <laughs> why don't... Well, okay. Well, I'm trying to find additional gold. Okay. Right. So... Where's the gold? We seem to be stuck in a loop. Let me just ask this question 12 more times, Dragast. <laughs> My oh, fucking no, no, inventory man. is completely full. God damn it. Every time I open one of these things, I can't get the item out of it. Okay, well, my inventory is not completely full. I can grab the shit if you let me. Projectile that... animation, ammunition. Oh, boy. It's not a gun it, now. Is that what it was called? Yeah. Huh. Projectile ammunition. You yeah, can't wait, just use on, the mining me... laser Actually, forever? Let me take a... Yeah, it's just called projectile ammunition. That's actually, like, kind of really fucking strange, isn't it? Yeah. Like, calling it, like, bullet... bullet projectiles. ATM machine. Ow, why? I was literally doing... <laughs> you failed the limbo. <laughs> Ow, why? <laughs> Why does this keep happening to me? E e e <laughs> smack, smack, smack. <laughs> if only there was some way to predict this outcome happening to me over and over again. Why am I falling down a cliff? If only this were some kind of self-inflicted trend that I could avoid in the future by ceasing this behavior pattern. Why are you still, why are you still sim simulating me falling down a cliff? I feel threatened right now. I don't, I'm not near any cliffs, so why are you suggesting that I'm near a cliff right now? I don't appreciate this. Are you intending to buy me a cliff? Like, don't do this. Don't do this to me. I'll call the Attorney General on you. How could you? And I need oxygen his, too. He'll command his legion of attorneys to be like, like, we strike at midnight. Yeah. I actually, I did fall down the rabbit hole of like, for a little bit of like the professionals reacting to thing stuff, but it was a I, fun I, trend. I, I for fell sure. off. I fell off of it very quickly because I found. Well, it turns out like, a lot of professionals that don't pr primarily make YouTube content aren't very entertaining. No, 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 for sure, for <laughs> sure. So if you get the people just that are just professionals. 
like if you watch the vice series on that thing it actually gets really boring really quickly for sure but um if you watch people that are like full-time youtubers that also are professionals outside of youtube yep. then they then oftentimes you get something usually really entertaining like i, par um, I primarily and, liked uh dr mike yes yes dr mike was pretty fun for a little while um but it turns out i don't actually care very much about medicine so <laughs> i didn't watch him too for too long but uh you know like i was thinking to myself like gosh i have a job what could i what could i let's react to and i was like oh did nobody cares about yeah wonderful how am i gonna like but let's actually react? if you put the zero in that part of the code then <laughs> know, it doesn't exactly. do it right <laughs> i was like how in the fuck am i gonna ever like react to a uh, fucking like a computer program like there's that is so uninteresting that might ship oh, the radio color or is that your what happens if, okay before we what? end tonight are you trying to get I in my need, ship no I need you to take off and with me on top oh, of the God. ship and see what happens. Well, you see you that thing. Do, right do you see that thing on the horizon ahead of us? That weird floating square. Where? Like straight ahead. Straight ahead from your spaceship. Yeah. No. You don't see that? It might be my graphic no. settings. I think yeah, it I think might. So. I think it might be a space station. So I kind of want to go there. Okay. Not totally. enough fuel. Launch, launch duster. Let's put that in there. Because if it is a space station. Boop. You just, just, just went straight through you. <laughs> Good times were had. Because okay. one thing is that um, if we, if it is a space station, we might be able to buy a better fucking ship. <laughs> okay, you, I'm taking off right now. Because uh, you can no, you not. can buy space stations that uh, not space station. I mean, you might be able to, but you can get ships that have more storage and are better all around. And that would be nice. How do I take off? Is to just have a fucking mountain. Of sp uh, you hold W. Okay. Uh, where do I... Okay, I'm gonna follow you. Oh my god, I forgot how terrible I am at steering in this game. Oh, it's super weird. Oh, remember geez, a, okay. Remember A and D is rotate. Yes. It feels like I'm playing, um... Yeah, this looks like a space like, station. Descent, free space all over again. God, I love that game. Uh, yeah, what the hell is that up there? Far away... It's far away. This oh, wow. drive's taking a while. A while. Oh my god. Space is rocks. <laughs> I thought you were doing Doctor Who. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, okay, I hear it now. <laughs> I get it. I, I heard it now. Oh god. I, I tried to navigate for a second and now I can't reorient myself to find the thing mm -hmm. I was Oh no, where was it? All I see is rocks out here. Where was the thing I was trying to find? I can't... God, steering is horrible. Doctor, uh, it's a space station. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor and Winston Churchill go to space. <laughs> Up the... next on the BB side. <laughs> where the fuck is it? I lost it. Oi, Do you Winston. know where it is? We got ourselves a bit of an alien over here. And Winston's like, like, I don't know, he comes up with one of his witty retorts. Like, like. Oh, there it oh, is. Jesus. I don't know, I can't insult, I can't improvise like a Winston Churchillian insult. <laughs> like, like, alien, I may be drunk tonight, but you are, you will be drunk tomorrow. <laughs> because you're gonna remember how ugly you are and you're gonna feel sad so you're gonna drink it up and then the doctor's like like Winston don't don't be so mean and <laughs> they all have the exact same voice <laughs> I don't know okay like <laughs> well that's the space station I'm in the space station I am landing on the space station <laughs> Wow, sure is a uh, no man's sky in the sky, <laughs> isn't it? It is companion. Oi, my name is Clara. <laughs> 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 They're just all the same goddamn person. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oi, clever boy, you is. Now run. <laughs> run like the wind for true. 
<laughs> Jesus Oi. Christ. Oi, I gotta use my sonic screwdriver to open up this door so I can let Paul McCartney out. Oi, I'm Paul McCartney. <laughs> 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 I'm Paul McCartney, you can tell because I'm drinking my tea and I'm driving on the left side of the road, I am. <laughs> the, the two character traits of Paul McCartney. <laughs> Have you ever been on a space station before? No, it's got really loud, weird music. It's like it's like David Bowie rock. Well, this looks, oh, the, oh, God, this is aliens. Oh, this is way bigger than it was last time I played this game. Yeah. He used to walk down one hallway and there was one guy I talked to, and that was the whole space station. Wow, really this is like... Hi! How do I gesture at people in this game? How do I gesture at people in this uh, game, Keith? You press... Is it Z? No, X. Then you go... Gestures, then you go point. Okay, uh, yeah. okay so I press Look X, at this. And then I do Look gestures. at this idiot. He can't figure out how to gesture. And then... They're both shut! <laughs> Hang on. Stop saying look at nope, this. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> mm -mm. There we go. Finally, I waved at this guy. And now I get to leave. <laughs> I will take a seat. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> mm -mm. No, no, no. <laughs> you get out of my house. Please remove your presence from my abode. You didn't think <laughs> that that would happen, but then it did happen, and I told you that it would happen. I just like so, the animations. Ha -ha. You have I just been like told by me. I just like that they make like awkward squeaking noises as our as our costume like squelches around mm -hmm. us. So why is this? Thank you. I don't understand. I've never been like. I don't know. It's just like a cheer. Like. Hey man, can you pass me that pencil? And I'm like, sure. And I'm like, yeah! Maybe that's just how Sean, Mir Sean Murray asks, uh, thanks people when they give do minor things for him. Mm. Like, yeah, it's ah! <laughs> uh, it's like an anime opening every time I, like, like somebody gives, like, does me a gesture of kindness. Da da da! da. Anime! Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Uh, so they sell guns here. Ooh, ooh! I didn't realize that oh, we were in America. I guess it's a multi-tool. Starship research. Exocraft research and some Z fighting happening on the screen when I walk up to it. Is there a gesture of shaking your fist in front of your pelvis? <laughs> oh, oh! And jerking then, and then throwing, okay. and then, and then throwing it in their face. And then throwing it in their face. Dude, did like you ever see... Like the spitter see... from Jurassic Park. Did you, <laughs> did you ever see, uh, Whitey's Kids You Know, the slow jerk sketch? Oh my god, oh, you, can customize, you can customize your character here. So there's this, there's this video, it's probably about eight, nine years <laughs> That's old. That's what a Viking point. looks like? There's I don't a, like there's it. A, there's, a, there's, a, there's a video, it's like eight or nine years old at this point, and, um... Uh, it's called Slow Jerk, and it's about, like, somebody, like, doing, like, the jerk-off, like, gesture or whatever. And then the person that they do that to starts doing it really, really slowly and, like, really long. And he's like, okay, that's not, that's not how you're supposed to do it. It's supposed to be, like, really fast and then you're done. And then it's like, he's like making a really <laughs> weird look on his face, like making eye contact the whole time while it's he's just doing too it involved. Really, really slowly. <laughs> and then, and then at some point he like reaches over and like Phantom like grabs the other guy, the other guys. No. And like, he's like doing them both at the same time. And then he like makes the like touch. And then he's like, oh God, it's so funny. I love it's the just way way too, now. It's just way too much. I love that 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 series. Then they got a TV show, and eh, it wasn't so good. But uh, that was a funny one, as well as the Abraham Lincoln one. You've, you've seen that one, right? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, okay. You should watch this one too. 
Um, it's about uh, like Abraham Lincoln on the night that he is assassinated when he's in the theater. And John Mulk's booth is there, and Ab like the retelling of the story is that Abraham Lincoln is being super rude and obnoxious, and he's like yelling at the actors and stuff like that. So and, he gets uh, he's getting killed because he's just a really annoying person in a yeah, theater, basically. Can, yeah, John Mulk's booth comes up, and he's like, like, we're trying to enjoy the show, Mr. Lincoln. Please shut shut up. And then he's like, they get into an altercation, and then I punch the shit out of my microphone. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you did it. That, that happens a lot. My microphone is way closer to my face than it used to be. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's really fucking funny. I'm not going to spoil what happens at the end, but Abraham Lincoln dies in the theater. <laughs> yes. But you between the start and the end, you know what happens? Memes. Not memes. Oh, memes. Who will rescue us from the memes? Oh. Dude, there's a. The doctor there, can rescue you from the memes. <laughs> there's a pretty goddamn detailed character creator going on here. I'm. Hello, I'm Dr. Meme. I have a sonic screwdriver and a. and a. and a sheep that goes like, Oi! Nice screwdriver there. <laughs> God, I don't like, I don't like Doctor Who, or rather it'd be like, Doctor Whomst, get it? <laughs> oh no, this is uh, a mistake. <laughs> How do I back out of this entire uh, joke? Oh man. Uh, Doctor Wemst. <laughs> Doctor, Doctor Whom. <laughs> uh, uh, hey. Is it Wednesday, my dudes? If so, then it's time for another episode of Dr. Hoops. <laughs> oh, what do you know? It is Wednesday, my dudes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> what the fuck? How did you get to... Wait, how did you get to fucking... Like, get to Christmas? <laughs> how did you get to Christmas? I don't know. British people are also Santa. Just fucking I mean, work with me. Every on this other, I, I mean, every season has a fucking Christmas special, so you're not completely off. Yeah, exactly. But I'm so confused. <laughs> me and the boys gonna fight the Daleks. <laughs> you, you can't. You can't I love just keep Dr. going. Hoops. Dr. Hoops. I love Dr. Hoops. Do you ever watch Ooh. Dr. Who? Yeah, I love the latest seasons. They've been great. Yeah, it's been a good time. Yeah, I hated Clara as a uh, companion, which really sucked because I love Peter Capaldi as a doctor, but she really dragged down that entire series for me. But uh, Jody has been just killing it. She's doing so good. The new anyway. it's also just so fucking pretty. Like that yeah, that episode the new that was is the episode phenomenal. that was filmed in like the Netherlands or whatever. Yeah. was like ridiculous like the fjords <laughs> the, someone's gonna yes, be mad the at very me very well known fjords of the netherlands someone in someone in that exact part of of europe is gonna be very mad at my ability to remember which country it was but yeah cool i don't think <laughs> it, you know i'm gonna give you a little bit of a hint the uh word fjord is not dutch so <laughs> There you are. They don't speak Dutch um, in the Netherlands. They speak Net Nederlanders. I'm leaving now. But my beautiful man, look at my beautiful man. I can't tell because you're wearing a spacesuit. Uh, how do I say yes? Save changes, yes. Look at my dude. Oh my fucking. Look at my Lord. little dude. He's perfect. Oh, wow. I am so looking forward to jamming out with this character creator. <laughs> you look fucking You could be like wonderful. five different species. Alright. Yeah. Gonna, uh, he's tiny. He's a little gremlin, yeah. man. Yeah, he's great. Love him. I, I do. He wants a hug. I'm Where's the hug now. he wants? I'm leaving now. <laughs> I cannot quit the desktop faster. There we go. All right. <laughs> um, 
goodbye. User disconnected from your now that he's fucking gone, we can go talk to NPCs. <laughs> what good timing. I can't understand you at all. The life form waits behind their terminal. They look me up and down and, and seem to decide I'm not a customer. They do not look particularly helpful. Ask by other travelers. Life form looks at me with an alarm before waving me away. He doesn't even understand me a little bit. Access suit upgrade. What does it cost to do one of these? I would like... Yes, I would like to have a new slot. 5,000 units. Yes. There we go. There we go. I didn't piss off my friend. It's 9 o'clock at night. This is when he always goes to bed. And it's an excellent chance for me to deal with some stuff that requires my attention more than the resource mining. Oh cool, the, word, the only word I know is the. We're off to a good start. Despite their size, the alien does not seem aggressive. But when I blink, I see the same red light that stared at me at the distress beacon. Repeat, 16. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logging directly into Maxo suit. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form glaring at me. Whether whatever has happened, they do not appear to have witnessed it. I should leave. Perhaps the base computer would be able to make something off, off of this code. That's how you make story progress, I guess. That... I can't read that text, it's overlapped by a weird image. What in the world? Anyway, technology merchant upgrades your ship, and... Wow, none of this text is working. <laughs> So every system has a space station serving as its hub. Giant image overlapping text. That's like, visit technology merchants to upgrade your ship and... Okay. I, it looks like it says more after that point, but you can't read any of it. Visit the cartographer for directions to outpost and... Take missions from mission agent to earn valuable. Use the teleporter to instantly return to your base. Cool. A plus tool tip, everybody. Really nailed it. Oh, he's waving at me. They apparently have the same, they use the same language systems. Life form looks like they could break my fingers with a handshake, but thankfully greets me with a formal nod instead. Interloper. Technology merchant offers installable starship upgrades in exchange for nanite clusters. Ooh, those are just straight up upgrades that Oh, that's what the nanites are for that I've been finding. So that's how you get better engines. Are any of them more fucking space in the ship? Because that'd be nice. I don't think they are. Also, how do I sell stuff to people? Uh, sell. I don't think that he's the. I don't think he's the guy to sell things to. life form looks at me, traces of fear and surprise behind their eyes. It is clear they have nothing more to say to me. So previously you would trade for a ship with more slots or a a uh, micro uh, not na nano tool, micro tool, multi, multi machine, multi tool. You trade your multi tool for one that has more slots. That's more or less where you put everything. Definitely want to prioritize getting more slots for my suit because that's the one that I get to keep. I might be able to find ships that have more slots if it still works like it used to, which I don't know if it does. But you used to be able to just straight up find uh, just a better ship lying around and then you go repair it. 
Yeah, it keeps saying traces of fear. They've all merged into one character at the moment, as far as I can tell. Um... I take it that was the... I must be able to only buy one in, uh, exosuit upgrade. I think I have to go find a new space station to find another upgrade, because the terminal doesn't work anymore, as far as I can tell. It's over here. Oh, uh, you can't dash cancel. Or j punch dash. Because we're here. It doesn't work that way here. Oh. We'll leave that for next time. That's exciting. Cart camera. <laughs> camera. Okay. <laughs> Cartographer in The Viking gestures proudly at the data banks that surround them. Screen after screen of geographical charts. Gra. The Viking. I know Gra. Okay. The Ask for help. I ask them for help. They point to a map on their on their screen, then towards a de uh, depiction of the waypoint towers found at most planet tower sites. They seem to be requesting I, I gather data from these towers. Okay, so let's see what happens when I try to trade this item. One navigation data. I think I have one. Changes the coordinates into the centralized tracking device. Then we chart of a new location of interest, ready to be mapped and added to the database. Camera's losing its goddamn mind. Planetary chart. Envoy Yadon. I've seen this alien's insignia before. They're a member of the Explorer's Guild. They do not seem interested in the data I have to offer. Perhaps the mission listings agent on the station might have a way to prove my point. Missions agent. There we go. Grah! Interloper! <laughs> Alright. Well. Galactic Trade Terminal. Here we go. Now I can probably trade off some of the weirder things I've got. You just switch manually between your suit inventory and your ship inventory? No. Oh. So I guess a lot of the stuff is below normal value. Hmm. None of it's at a higher value. All of it's low. This is 60% lower than normal. Gecknip is lower than normal. Damn. Well, it's still taking up all my inventory space, so I'd rather sell it than keep it around. I think I want the vortex cubes. Probably. But like the relics I can move on from. I only held onto them to sell them. Vortex cubes might be for something more useful, maybe. Dense metal object that long ago would materialize with subterranean networks throughout the galaxy. Extremely rare and of high value. I'm not sure. It might be something you sell, or it might be something you want to hold on to for crafting purposes. Sometimes when a game says something is valuable, they just mean you're supposed to sell it. But other times it's like, oh my god, hold on to this, it's super important. By Keen at Arms. Orga barga 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 bark. Blark 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 blark. Blark 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 blark. The warrior seems distraught. They hold a small statue of another member of their species. Help. He draws themselves up, proud to be teaching their language. They present a selection of symbols, each representing a type of Viking word I might learn. I already know Viking. Travel? Teaches you a word of the language. 
Ah, he taught me where. People could teach you the language instead of just the freaking rocks. Gurgle bulldurgle dur interloper. The warrior seems less aggressive than I might expect. The lips curl over teeth as they accent my as they taste my scent. I don't like that phrasing. I don't like talking about tasting my scent. Uh trade symbol. Give. Okay. This is progress. The same Viking I talked to a second ago. Give. Oh, I got one word. Practice language skills. He falls respectfully silent, curious to hear my pronunciation of their guttural language. I recall some of the Viking words I have learnt. Journey. He shakes their head. If I am lost, they cannot help me. Nope. Oh, that's a new mini game that didn't exist before. Hmm. I wonder if the economy is still super exploitable like it was at launch. At launch, you could just hang out in the station and find something that you could buy for a cheap price from one of the ships and then sell at the galaxy computer for a high price. And if you stayed at the space station, the ships that kept flying in and out were just the same ships over and over again with the same items. So you could just keep getting more of that resource that was like being sold at a at a low price from the ship than then would sell for a high price at the station or vice versa or whatever. And it was like, it was kind of hilarious how it just was completely broken and you could just hang out on one space station and make enough money from using its own economy against itself that you would then uh, just be able to buy one of the big ships that you were seeing and then move on without having to deal with having a little small ship ever again. Let's save. There we go. All right. That'll be it for now. Good night, everybody.